Well, today I'm doing a little bit of work on the uh, the M3 and AT gun again. I've been. Hang on a sec. I'll just turn the music down a little bit in the back. Leave it playing. What the hell? Um. Yeah, been doing a bit of work on the AT gun again. And uh, I've fitted the control panel in now, and that's where the battery is sitting. There's the gas line. Now I'm going to have to drill a, a hole in the bottom of the case and feed this gas pipe out through the base. And as I've shown you before, it will be sitting in, in here. Like so. Yeah, so the um, the gas tank goes just there. That's the regulator unit. Now, the gas pressure, according to the instructions, has to be one bar gas pressure. Now, I've checked this with a foot pump, and it says that it's putting out two bars but it was only a very crude way of checking the pressure I just put the pipe up against the nozzle of the foot pump and foot pumps are not that accurate anyway when it comes to checking low pressure gas levels so it could be wrong um, yeah so I've connected up the switches remember me saying there was uh, not going to use the original switches on the front on the pressure pad. I've disconnected them and I've now hooked it up to these two here. Now they were originally a little bit prouder than that, they had a big green uh, button on there but they've snapped off as I suppose they were bound to and this one in fact the top one was the same as the bottom one and, and that sheared off completely so what I've actually I managed to find uh, a, another switch up in the loft which it had for years um, so I'm going to use that and yeah I can't actually get at it with my finger well I thought well I can stick a glue button into the end of that so that I can push it or as a safety feature basically leave it like that so that when I want to use it I have to push a pen in to operate it so to do a test fire on it you actually hold that button which is button A and then push button B and then it counts through the lights on the side 10, 9, 8, 7, yeah, and then it fires. Uh, so, I'm about to give a little bit of a demonstration of this. I've tried it once or twice already, and I'm not very impressed with how loud it is. I think it should be about three times louder than this, and I basically put it down to the amount of gas which is coming out of the regulator, I don't believe it's enough gas because when I uh, compare it to the original regulator over here which came with the scatterbird unit if I turn this on you can see there's a lot of gas coming out of there and it does actually say um, this is Italian unit so but P dot U S C equals one bar so it must be a one bar pressure output unless it's been mucked about with which I don't really see it could have been 
so I don't think there's any way you can adjust them unless it's gone faulty. So that's what one bar of pressure should be like. Quite a decent um, amount of gas coming out. Now, if I demonstrate the amount of gas that comes out of this um, gadget, let me just stand there, back there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pressure that right up. Maximum pressure this is that's coming out of this tank. Right, now I'll show you what this is like as a comparison. Once this pipe comes off, you'll hear it. That is nowhere near the same amount of gas coming out as the big tank has. So there's definitely something funny going on here. I'm going to have to uh, maybe get in touch with the manufacturer and ask them what the maximum gas pressure that, that this gives out is. But I did find this on a website and I'm sure it said the gas pressure was higher than one bar maximum. So maybe this unit's uh, faulty in some way. Anyway, at the moment this should give me some explosions which are lower than uh, they should be. So for testing purposes here at my house I'm not going to complain about that too much. Uh, better be safe than sorry. I don't want to annoy too many neighbours. So I'm going to put the power on there. And as I said, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of this thing. If I lower the camera a bit more, you'll see the display operates on the side. Okay, so there's our display. So uh, I'm going to give this a quick test shot. It could be that the first explosions are quiet and then as it's been running for a little while it sort of starts getting louder. I suppose it's a possibility but I don't really see why that should be the case. Anyway, when I uh, push the A button and then the B, um, and then we'll, you'll see the lights step through. So here we go. 10, 9, 8. Okay, I'm about to uh, go around the front of this. There's the gas coming out. Whoa! Yeah. So it just fired, but as I say, it should be a lot louder than that. Uh, yeah, so I'll just give that one more go. Uh, hold that button, push that one. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, gas. Right. So, it is functioning. It's all there. It just needs more gas pressure. Put a decent charge of gas into that barrel. Once more. If we have a look down the barrel, I reckon you might actually see. Oh, you probably might have seen a bit of a flash of explosion down there. Uh, let's 
just give the camera a full frontal on the barrel. And let's give it another shot. I'm sure my camera will take it as it's not running at full power yet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Oh well, that'll do for the moment. Okay, this is the second test fire with um, a full-size gas bottle on it and the proper original regulator all hooked up. So I'm at a friend's, I'm well away from uh, my housing estate, uh, estate in Aintree so uh, I'm not going to annoy the neighbours as much down here. And there we go. This should be a bit louder. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. As Ian says, all I need to do is put a, some sort of cradle or, well, I could put some sort of arm on it to fit the box on. One more, one more. Dave, the dog's not loving it. The dog's not loving it. Oh, you'll be all right, won't you, Dacre? She thinks she's about to get booted out of Europe again. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, 